would like to speak something else today especially this time just last month i was in india i have met so many people and one thing i noticed we are living in a world where there is a spirit of tiredness everywhere spirit of hopelessness spirit of tiredness spirit of disappointment everywhere so as i was speaking to so many people who had come to the divinity center in kerala and also those of my friends my family members and those people whom i came came across on the way so when i was speaking to them the impression that i got was everyone has got some kind of tiredness weakness disappointment helplessness hopelessness because of the covid situation lockdown situation business collapsed and then farming is not taking place no income from the farm farming cultivation no income for the small small scale business people so and also continuous sicknesses different varieties of sicknesses sicknesses are increasing and tension and fear about covid and the uh, the different variations so this was affecting so many people there is a kind of hopelessness and there was a kind of weakness and disappointment my dear brothers and sisters hopelessness and helplessness weaknesses come up come and control us when there is no hope when there is no aim when there is no assurance from heaven above so it's a clear sign somewhere though we read bible every day though we go for confession holy mass every day somewhere we are lacking in that trust trust in the lord somewhere we are lacking the assurance that there is a god above us so today i would like to speak to you about these aspect and let's read this word of god especially gospel of luke chapter 12 was 6 onwards we read like this When Jesus was speaking he said are not five sparrows sold for two pennies the sparrows those years sold for two pennies the least amount least of money two pennies yet not one of them is forgotten in god's sight so what does jesus say jesus said these sparrows are insignificant only two pennies is the value of these sparrows in front of the human being for human being only two two pennies that is the value of these people value of these sparrows maybe if you take any other animal maybe for the ants maybe cockroach maybe some something which nobody wants no one sells this which has got no penny at all yet not one of them is forgotten in god's sight what does it mean even their life is formed by god even their hands and legs and everything is formed by god even their life is counted in the presence of god so that means even these waste animals the so called waste animals useless animals that we think that they are useless even they are counted in the presence of god even even they they are touched by god god knows them god prepares their life god counts their life everything is touched by god it is not forgotten god jesus says even not yet not one of them is forgotten in god's sight then how much more he will take care of you verse seven, we read like this but even the hairs of your head are all counted do not be afraid you are of more value than many sparrows jesus from heaven you know son of god god himself is coming and telling you face to face even your hair is counted even when one small hair is falling down you may be worry oh, when the each day when you after the bath you see so many f- hair is fallen you get tensed and disturbed more than you god knows you are aware of even every hair that falls from your head but god says even more than you i know even the hairs of your head are all counted do not be afraid therefore 
do not be afraid this season will pass this mountain we will cross this desert we will pass through therefore do not be afraid you are of more value than many sparrows the you know all these animals even they have a small value and but still you know even though they are useless in front of our eyes god says even they are counted therefore you are counted more you are more valuable than all these creatures therefore do not be afraid this is the message the lord wants to tell you today during this difficult evil time do not be afraid many a time many i remember one lady called me in and she i always see her whatsapp message whom i know for many years she is one of those people who had come uh, to divine rudy send uk for the first time i mean uh, for the first year itself so she used to send always a long message of pain and sorrow especially worries about her child and all those things and i have seen the same thing happened 7 8 years ago and still continuing every day she is sharing and painful painful experiences about her child and asking for prayers and prayers still one thing i assure though there is not i don't see any improvement in all her, all the request but one thing i know she still trust in the lord she is still holding on to god she is still hopeful and she is still waiting for god even after 8 years now the lord wants to tell all those people who are going through such kind of experiences do not be afraid you were worried about your child 8 years ago and in these last 8 years nothing different happened still you are alive your child is alive everyone is alive still your life is going on only your worry was disturbing you all these 8 years if you had not worried if you whether you worry or not this 8 years would have passed as it as usual the lord is telling us do not be afraid don't waste your time by getting worried you know it, it's it's very easy for me to tell you that don't worry because when worry comes to me i have seen the disturbance that happens in my heart but and that is when i start a reading and listening to and i go and speak to some uh, someone whom i can trust who helps me through word of god and that is when i also f- come out of those trouble and disturbance my dear brothers and sisters today the lord says do not be afraid you are more valuable than anything else he the lord cares we read like this in the word of god psalm 139 verse 5 psalm 139 verse 5 we read you hem me you hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me you are you hem me you cover me you protect me you are guarding me in behind before and you lay your hand upon me verse 6 such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is so high that i cannot attain it this knowledge should be there always in your mind my dear brothers and sisters which knowledge verse 5 and 6 let's take, read it together verse 5 and 6 you hem me the lord his the lord hem me he is behind me he is before me and he is laying his hand upon me this knowledge this knowledge will take away every sorrow from your heart every pain every loss from your heart such knowledge is too wonderful for me it is so high that i cannot attain it my dear brothers and sisters today the lord wants to tell you all those who are worried about your husband wife and children parents and the future of your children don't worry they all belong to jesus jesus owns them he is the he is the master of your family he is the master of your property he is the master of your finance he is the master of your future nothing will happen to you he takes care of you trust in him my dear brothers and sisters 
he will help you this you will go through this you will pass through these difficult days you will go through these difficult times he cares for you we read like this in the word of god gospel of luke chapter 12 verse 22 onwards chapter 12 verse 22 onwards he said to his disciples jesus said to his disciples therefore i tell you do not worry about your life do not worry about your life what you will lead or what about your body and what what you will wear what you eat means all the physical needs don't worry about it don't worry about your life your future your job and uh, whom you are going to get married will i get a right person right pa- life partner you don't need to worry you only need to hold on to jesus if at all if you want to worry worry if you are losing jesus that's all the lord says do not worry about your life your future your work your career your work your job your future life don't worry don't worry about what you will eat all the physical needs the desire of your body don't wor- worry about your body your strength your health worry about the sicknesses don't worry about it and what you will wear your beauty how to appear now sometimes people are so worried about the appearance their color their hair loss their uh, there are many things on their body they are so worried about it the lord says don't worry don't worry he knows he knows the best for you even if something goes wrong we, for us it is wrong but for god he can turn everything into good even if it is done by evil one even if it is done by your mistakes the wrongs that is taking place in your body you just trust in the lord god can turn everything into good you know even this covid 19 there are many conspiracies there are so many uh, rumors that this is human made virus many people say it's human made we don't know we have no proofs for anything but there are many people who say human made and human beings are the reason why this covid 19 and then delta and omicron all these different viruses are spreading and new viruses are coming and another type of virus ukraine virus I mean, the the problem that is going on in in ukraine and russia and there are so many viruses moving in this world some human made viruses and some viruses are being made by humans so these are what is taking place around you and therefore the lord is telling us in all these things though these viruses were there for the last 2 years you must have seen so many good things god has brought out of this virus time covid time pandemic time this lockdown time not only about you know there are thousands of people who are joining us in this live streaming every day you all have grown in your knowledge about jesus and the abba father and the bible teachings and you all have grown up so much which you never had in your past history of your life in this last 2 years you have grown so much you knew so much you worshiped god so much more than any time of your lifetime this is those who are joining with us in the divine uk ministries but imagine about all the other ministries that are taking place in different world not only catholic but also protestant and many other denominations where come thousands of people come together and study bible and during this time of covid not only that nowadays because all the people are using the social platforms social media platforms especially the youtube and facebook and other platforms not only the christians and catholics who listen to the preaching but also the non christians i know there are so many non christians who are attending our live streaming daily and so many have transformed and changed their life and so many started believing in jesus one and as their lord and savior and even those people who have never come across jesus some people somebody you send a message father i never heard in my life who, uh, the name jesus i was so shocked to hear you know there are people who are living in this world who not, doesn't know anything not even the name of jesus and even they came to know about jesus 
through these during this time of covid the lord can turn everything into good if this covid was not there the pandemic was not there i don't think the human beings especially the catholics will ever ever use these social medias for the preaching my dear brothers and sisters god can turn everything into good the devil is trying his best to bring the disaster and god is trying to change into a big blessing for thousands and this is what is happening and that is why do not be afraid god says do not be afraid everything is work of god everything is turned into good let's read once again the gospel luke chapter 12 verse 22 we read but even the hairs of your head are counted And we read, he said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear. And next, next verse 23, we read like this. The next word, for life is more than food and the body more than clothing. You know, these, the life and your body is very important. Don't worry about, if at all, if you want to worry, don't worry about clothing and all the other things. Take care of your life. Take care of your body means Keep your body holy. Make sure that your life is surrendered to God and keep your body holy. These two things you have to keep uh, in your mind. Verse 24, we read like this. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse or barn. Yet God feeds them. All the birds, all the wild animals, none of them worry about their future. None of, them, none of them worry about any, anybody else. They have everything God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? You are more valuable than words. Therefore, don't worry, he will feed you. Don't worry, he will heal you. Don't worry, he will bless you. Don't worry, he is there for you. Verse 25. And can any of you, by worrying, Add a single hour to your span of life. But instead you can reduce. By worrying you will get pulled into sicknesses. And it affects your body and every system inside. And at the end your time life span, span of life may be reduced. But we cannot increase. Therefore the Lord says. How can we get rid of worries? We can get rid of worries when we think about God and that life after death. There is a life waiting for us. A perfect light, life. A happy life. Complete peace and joy and happiness. We will not miss our father, mother, brother, sister. We all will be together in this perfection. So all those who are worried about losing your father, mother, husband, wife and children. When they get sickness, don't worry. These are only a momentary struggles that may, we may have to go through. One day... We will all will enter into a temple. The temple that is the body of Christ. The mystical body. The, the supernatural body of Christ. Where we all will be end, enjoying the supernatural beatific, beatific vision. You know what is this beatific vision means? Beatific vision means. You know when you see. You know uh, when you. If I ask you one question. What is the most enjoyable, most happiest moment in your life? Then suddenly you will have a vision in your mind. Maybe where your father, mother, your family enjoying, maybe going for a picnic or maybe enjoying in a beautiful garden or a park. Maybe something else. You may, something you will remember, a vision will come to your mind. That is only, that enjoy, enjoyment that enjoying vision that you hear or see in your imagination is only a small spark of the eternal beatific vision that you are going to experience after your death. And this beatific vision means a complete perfection of joy and happiness. You will forget every sorrow, every pain, every death, everything. And you will enter into a perfection of joy and happiness by looking at Jesus. And this is what God is, is prepared for us, my dear brothers and sisters. Therefore, the Lord says, do not worry. Let's continue reading. If then are not able to do so small a thing as that, 
why do you worry about the rest if you can't expand your life span then why do you worry about the rest verse 27 consider the lilies how they grow they neither toil nor spin yet i tell you even solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these even these wild lilies the lilies in the field he is so precious and so holy so glorious so beautiful and god cares for them even this small beautiful flower that is here on this altar is so beautiful and it beautifies the whole atmosphere the whole altar the lord cares for them lord gave this uh, flower that beauty the lord says if he gave this beauty for this flower how much more he will give you so don't worry about your beauty don't worry about anything of yours he will take care of you verse 28 we read like this but if god so clothes the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven how much more will he clothe you you of little faith how much more he will help you how much more he will clothe you how much more he will heal you verse 29 and do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink and do not keep worrying was 30 for it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things and your father knows that you need them you know this is very important who are the people who worries the people of this world my people the people of the kingdom of god will never worry the people of this world will worry but people of the kingdom of god will never worry because in this kingdom we have a father in that kingdom there are some political leaders who only uh, uh, keep things in their pocket better take care of you but in this kingdom we have a father who cares for us and he knows our need therefore the lord says only those who belong to these nations this world will worry but those who belong to the kingdom of god will not worry because your father knows that you need them verse 31 we read like this verse 31 instead strive for his kingdom forget about the nations where you belong to strive for his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well all whatever that you are in need of will be given to you verse 32 do not be afraid little flock little children do not be afraid some of you are worried about your studies how to study how to finish this how to face the exam what am i going to get in the future will i get a proper job a proper life partner where am i going to be settled how am i going to pay the loan so there are so many things that you are worried do not be afraid little flock one at a time one at a time each day only worry about each day don't worry about tomorrow the lord says do not be afraid little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom your father in heaven is so happy to give you the kingdom he wants to give you the kingdom he wants to give you everything that you needed therefore do not be afraid Do not be afraid little flock for it, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sometimes we think I am in control of my family. The head of the family is worrying, getting angry with the wife and children. You don't know how much I work hard for this house and your he is so, so worried. Sometimes wife say, "No, I am the breadwinner. I am wor- working hard. I am the one who is getting money, salary, and you just listen to me. I am struggling to survive. I am struggling to help this family." there are so many who are worried like this there is a word of god in the bible we read gospel of john chapter 19 verse 10 gospel of 19 10 you know when jesus was brought in front of pilate pilate therefore said to him do you refuse to speak to me you know pilate was so angry with jesus and said do you refuse to speak to me do you not know that i have power to release you and power to crucify you see he is so happy that he knows that he has a power everything is under his control he has every authority he can command and something will happen he has the power to release and also power to crucify and then what did jesus say jesus answered you would have no power 
over me unless it had been given you from above therefore the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin and he said you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above what does it mean even the crucifixion was possible only because father permitted not is a mistake it's not a mistake it's not happened by chance it's not because the evil is powerful it's only because father gave permission that is very important my dear brothers and sisters your financial problem which is affecting you uprooting you and the evil one says i can destroy you you tell them you tell him you would have no power over me and my finance unless it had been given you from above if you think your sickness is affecting you and you so terribly broken and the sickness is telling you i have the power to destroy you and kill you then tell your sickness you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above my god the father gave you this power my god the father has given you and give this authority to enter into my body god the father gave this why did he give because he can turn everything into good he knows the best for you he knows you know when we look the whole world look at the crucifixion of jesus as a disaster as a failure 33 years years of age young man being crucified he lost his life for the whole world is a waste death but god turned this death into a mighty sacrifice through which the whole world is saved this is very important therefore tell your enemies all those who destroy you all those who take away your pleasure happiness and all those who think that they are controlling your life tell them you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above my dear brothers and sisters this is one thing that we all need to think and reflect more and more you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above if you having financial problem marriage problem problem from neighbors problem from anywhere and you think or oh, somebody has done some evil black evil black magic or something and you are so scared of all this tell everyone tell everything tell everyone looking at you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above trust you know when when you say that when you believe that you are giving all authority taking away taking taking it away from the evil one and giving back to jesus and then you will see the whole situation get changed you know jesus knew that this is coming from his heavenly father that is why even though he was crucified he's resurrected he raised he came back you will come back if you believe this you will come out if you believe this you will pass through these trials if you believe this you will defeat your enemy if you believe this everything that comes against you you will walk over it if you believe this believe that everything is under the control of the heavenly father you would have no power over me unless it had been given you from above 